It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer. On today's program, we get an update from Midwest Dairy, and Ashley Larson joins us once again. She is a manager of programs and partnerships in Nebraska with Midwest Dairy. Uh, Ashley, today's topic is uh, Dairy Farmers' connection with Husker Athletics. Tell me a little bit more about this partnership. Yeah, thanks so much for having me again, Chad. Our partnership with the Husker Athletics started a few years ago, and we're really excited this year to expand it. With our partnership this year, we can work with the Campus Rec Center as well and be more involved with events on campus. So this helps us reach the students and Gen Z audience at different gatherings throughout the university. We know that in Nebraska, our Husker sports are a big priority, so having this partnership allows us to reach consumers either at games, on campus, or online through the Huskers.com website. All right, like you say, it's expanding. We'll talk more about that in a moment. First of all, tell me what types of events have you already been involved in this year? It's been a pretty busy few months with college starting back up in August, and we've been lucky to be involved in several student events on campus. We were able to attend two of the Big Red Welcome events, welcoming the students back to Lincoln, Husker Mania on the Friday before school started, and the Wellness Fest the next day. The Campus Rec hosts Husker Mania for students to find out more about intramural sports and activities on campus, our involvement at this event was having a Dairy Dash game and spin wheel with Dairy Trivia. The game helps students see how a dairy farmer cares for their cows. To, so two people work together, one dressed as a farmer and one as a cow, and they completed four different challenges showing how to keep the cow cool, to feed her, milk her, and then keep her comfy. This interactive game helps show how the cows come first to the farmer. Midwest Dairy was also able to attend a student tailgate for the first football game and a fan fest held for the first home volleyball game. At these events, we again had the trivia spin wheel and dairy game to continue to share the message of cow care and dairy sustainability. The last event that we had was September 5th, where Midwest Dairy sponsored the volleyball game and had Dairy Day at Devaney. We were able to have a couple dairy farmers speak with the students and learn more about a dairy farm while enjoying a slice of pizza. There were, PA, there were PA announcements throughout the game that helped tell wellness and sustainability messages for dairy. All right. So, yeah, like you say, Ashley, very busy so far this uh, school season. Now, anything left in store, or <clears throat> is there anything more that's being planned uh, coming up uh, yet this year, the, yet this school year with uh, the Husker Partnership? Yeah, with the end of the year quickly approaching, we have a couple of events coming up on December 1st and December 3rd. We're going to have Dairy Day at PBA, where Midwest Dairy will be the game sponsor for both a men's basketball game and a women's basketball game. During the games, we will have activations on the big screen and one on the court to share the dairy messaging and work on building trust in the students and all consumers. All right. Sounds great. So like you say, a very a cool, very expanded partnership. Now, so you've described some uh, in-person activities and uh, things like that. Is is there anything else besides these events that are uh, a, a part of this partnership with the Huskers? Yeah. One of the other things that we're able to include with both Husker Athletics and the Campus Rec is digital messaging. In order to create these messages, we worked with two of our volleyball NIL athletes, we had a photo, shoot, a photo shoot with them, and then the Husker marketing team is creating different messages each month using these pictures. The messages are on the equipment at the rec center on campus and on the messaging boards, boards in the hallway, as well as the message boards in the student union. They can also be found on huskers.com. And these messages include um, gut health and how dairy is good for us and different wellness messaging. Another activity we'll sponsor is a smoothie contest that'll be held at the training table. Our NIL athletes will make a smoothie and it'll be served for the other athletes to try. And then the winning recipe will be posted online. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Just as we wrap up here, Ashley, you know, like we said, this uh, partnership has been going on for a few years. It's uh, expanded this year. But what has the reaction been, do you think, you know, from the, the Husker athletes and, and the students on campus, the, the people that you interact with? What, what do they have to say about things like this? Yeah, I think it's been pretty positive. When we went to the Big Red Welcome events, the students were very engaged. They wanted to play the game. They were waiting in line. They were taking videos of their friends playing it. 
So I think it's been a, a positive reaction with our NIL athletes. They're very willing to talk with us and wanting to work with us and kind of spread the dairy messaging. They use dairy in their diet and to help fuel their performances. So they're happy to share that with other people as well. All right. Great to hear. Thank you so much uh, for telling us about this partnership. Again, Ashley Larson, Manager of Programs and Partnerships in Nebraska with Midwest Dairy, telling us about this Dairy Checkoff partnership with Husker Athletics. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. Chad Moyer reporting.